Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to enable github actions This is a very simple thing to do So make sure that you watch this quick and easy video till the very end and follow my steps correctly So you can make sure that this works the same for you and you can do this yourself But yeah guys, let's get straight into it So first things first, we're going to go and be opening up the official github website right here github.com If you've not already and after opening it up, you'll be greeted by the main page right here so this main page in the upper right corner you're going to have the option to sign up for an account if you do not already have one go ahead and create an account if you need one if not just log in normally and after logging in you'll be greeted by this main page right here so this is the home page where in the upper right corner we can take a look at all our info for accessing our github here we have our repositories the home page with our project and so on and now we can get started so basically guys how do we go ahead and enable manage actions for repositories this is i'm going to how to do it the steps we need to take so basically I'm going to open up this repository right here that I have then I'm going to show you where that I have the actions tab so you can see here at the top of the screen in the repository we have our actions options that's going to enable us to use actions if they are enabled in the repository so how do you enable actions well basically as you can see right here in the documents page of github it shows us how to manage github actions and settings so we're going to follow the steps right here basically guys under your repository name you want to click the settings option so basically you want to click the settings icon by opening up your repository click settings and now we can go ahead and get started opening our settings and in the left sidebar you can click the actions options and general so as you can see here we're going to have actions right here now click general and now it's going to enable you all uh, allow all actions and reusable workflows it's going to enable you who can use your actions if it's only for you if it's for other people if you want to disable them and so on you can do all of that right here from this menu and that's how to do it so i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel so you guys thank you for watching take care and bye